<laughs> okay. Do we like to hear about good weather? Yes. <laughs> hey, and if you're wanting to walk the doggos this afternoon, it's not a bad day to okay. do so. Yeah, right. it, it's going to be warm, so be sure to try to find some shade, but otherwise just a gorgeous day. Temperature right now at Fair Park of 79. We'll continue to see that upward climb throughout the day. Uh, here's what you need to know. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be mostly dry. We do have poor air quality and high pollen. If you are sensitive to allergens, you may want to consider limiting your time outside or as soon as you come in, one thing you can do is wash your face, make sure to get, you know, your nose. It's just one of those things we have to deal with year round here in North Texas. Ragweed, the biggest culprit, by the way, tonight, clear, calm and pleasant. We're looking at a really nice setup, very similar to what we saw last night. This weekend, we'll experience a summer like weather warmer, sunny, and yes, that humidity does come back. So right now, like I said, blue sky overhead temperature of 80 degrees. It feels like 81. It's slowly starting to get a little more humid. This number here, the higher it is, the more moisture we have in our air. And this morning, that number was in the 50s. It's now in the 60s. It's all thanks to the southeast wind that's anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. This afternoon, it'll be closer to 5 to 15 miles per hour. High temperature in Fort Worth today near 90 degrees, 90 for Denton, Granbury, Hillsboro, Stephenville, Meridian. We're looking at about 91 degrees in Dallas, 89 in McKinney, 87 for Terrell, Greenville, Bonham, about 88 for Sherman. We do have that consistent southeast wind really helping pump in some of this Gulf moisture across southeast, east and north Texas. A little bit different from the last couple of days where we had a dry wind coming in. And what we're noticing is that we have at the surface that southeast wind that brings in the humidity, but in our upper levels, we have this area of high pressure and that's actually going to strengthen as it moves over North Texas. And what this means is that even though we have that high humidity, we're still looking at warmer weather and we're still looking at limited rain chances because of where that high is situated. It's just summer trying to hold on for a few more days and it sure is going to feel like it. Our temperature climbs every day the rest of the week and through the weekend with 95 degrees by Saturday, 96 on Sunday. On average, we're in the upper 80s. So we'll be trending seven, nine degrees above normal for this time of the year. Our dew point timeline, remember this was a number I showed you at the beginning. It's in the 60s now, but it's going to be trending closer to the upper 50s today and tomorrow. That's still in the comfy category, but that southeast wind helps bring up this number into the 60s for Friday and Saturday, making it sticky. And then we get into that uncomfortable category starting Sunday. What I mean by that, it's going to be tropical feeling. You know, as soon as you step out, it feels a little bit heavy. It's a little harder to breathe sometimes under these conditions. So again, that'll be on Sunday. We're not looking at much rain chance. Like I said, that area of high pressure really holding on to us. Look at this tropical depression seven. We're still very much in the Atlantic hurricane season. So this is what we're watching. This is now moving to the west. It officially became a tropical depression around 10 this morning and this as it moves to the west, it's going to strengthen as it moves over some warm water and it does look like it impacts the leeward islands on Friday and then areas of Puerto Rico come Friday into Saturday and Española for the second half of the weekend. So certainly something to be watching there. No local impacts as our high temperatures continue to trend nor a uh, warmer than normal. We may get our first dose of rain next Thursday. Fingers crossed there, uh, and that brings in our first official day of fall. We'll be back.